<laughs> Buff Bagwell. Uh, what do you uh, is Buff Bagwell a good candidate for dark side of the ring? Because for the most part, I don't know. I mean, you tell me. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, based on, on what the, the, the show's premise is, um, you know, Buff came into the business and you know had you know, like all of us, right? This young green, you know, blank slate, and uh, you know had that body and had that look and and uh, you know, had that previous career. You know, those were all the things that were rife to make you know a, a, a good story, especially with how we saw him sort of get chewed up in that in that interim, right? The, the, the detritus of of all that damaging stuff that was being done in the business. Uh, my take on Buff though is the fact that yeah, he he did it, but he survived it, right? That he he was able to make it through the other side, and you know he has his slips here and there. Uh, Buff's a good dude. Like, you know, we were, we were babies when we first got in, right? And, uh, uh, you know, to me, I, there's always a level of respect. Anybody can come into this business and uh, persist in it and survive in it and thrive in it. And Buff was always able to figure that out, you know, uh, you know, and 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 you know, there's always the, the things when people say, "Well, this," or "What about that?" Well, yeah, I, you know, and I, you know, nobody's trying to erase any of the bad stuff, but I think if you take it all together and put it all together, uh, you can see the crowd reactions to him, right? So he's obviously connected to the, to the audience, uh, you know, and and you know, the thing with his mother, although like you know, at times it looked a little bit corny and stuff, but I think that's that's much more akin to the guy that I met back then. You know, that he was a mama's boy, and he'd be the first to tell you that. Uh, you know, who was, doesn't love our mothers? And, uh, you know, so, you know, I think more for Buff's story, uh, being on Dark Side of the Ring, is not so much, you know, that cloud that's been over him uh, and, and will rear its head periodically, uh, but the fact that he's he survived it when, when the vast hundreds of us didn't survive it. And, uh, you know, uh, he's... People know who Buff Bagwell is. And that's not an easy thing to do in this industry to create a successful character is, is difficult enough. But to create that character who haven't survived uh, over such a long period and still be here and still standing. You know, he goes out to these conventions. We, I see him quite often. Uh, you know, you know had to have that surgery and everything and still hobble around and stuff a bit, but still gets out there, still keeps himself in shape. Uh, still gets to meet his fans and talk to his fans. And I, I guess ultimately, like the, 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 what the topics of the dark side of the ring is, there's plenty of that in Buff's career, but there's also plenty of the next chapter. And, you know, to me, it's, what's the old saying? It's not, uh, uh, not, not getting knocked off the horse. It's about getting back up and getting back on the horse. And, and Buff certainly has exhibited that time and time again. So kudos for him uh, to, to doing that. And uh, I'd be interested to watch that episode, see what see what other stuff comes out of it.